Morning everybody, welcome to another week here at the Tunnelerin. We are going to work on the dining room floor this week. I need to take all the underlayment out and then actually we're going to try to start laying the new subfloor for the entire kitchen and dining room area. So I need to hurry because Rick is going to come here soon and I need to actually buy some wood at Lowe's before that happens because otherwise I won't uh, be able to have him help me unload all that stuff. So I need to hurry. So let's get going. It's time to make a little trip to Lowe's to pick up the subfloor, the new one, and also a few boards to fix holes and rot and stuff on the different joists. So what's going on is they're building a house, but you should know that. Like you know, if you're new here, just you know. So as you can see, they're building. Floor surfing. Right there. As you can see, they're building. It's really, it's really um cool. And wooding. Bottom side of the board. If you lift the board up. You yeah. think so? There's something underneath it. Think that Vantec has something? No. That's odd, Emmanuel. It, was, it's, it's it might be a ridge on the, uh, yeah, on the edge of the board. Oh, you, yeah, you can see where it's shinier. Yeah, it's cupping right here. You know what? Happen. I don't think that that's enough. No. This is tongue and groove. You're going you're gonna to lock yeah, it down yeah, and I spread want, it out. I want the floor somewhat level. Thank you. 
Okay, so next step that we have to do is we gotta fix all the different rotted, rot, in, rotting or rotted areas in the corner here. So I'm gonna cut pieces of these 2x4s out and replace them with old extra 2x4s that I have. <laughs> So I need to run home to pick up the chainsaw because I can't get through the beam and everything over here with just the sawzall and stuff so I need to take this all out the whole corner gonna redo the whole corner at different heights so that they're all still supporting each other but I'll need the chainsaw to take it out So you can see here, I took the beam out from over there to over here. It was all rotten in the corner. So I wanted to make sure and get a new one in. So first thing we have to do is we are gonna put a new beam in. It's gonna be a little smaller. Dimensional lumbar has changed. This is a true six by six. And I have a uh, store bought six by six. So it's finished on all four sides, meaning it's gonna be um, half an inch smaller. So I'm gonna put that in. I'm gonna glue it with construction adhesive to the uh, concrete or to the stone that they have there, the mortar. And then I am going to rebuild the framing above it. So I need here another one right next to it and then the corner, I need to rebuild the whole corner piece too.
So the next part is we need to take part of this post off too. It's also rotten on the bottom. And we need to fix then the beam on the bottom here that goes here. I probably need to fix it a few feet over this way, but I, can, I can't do all of that in one piece because I just can't finagle it in there. So what I'll have to do is I'll have to do it in pieces. And first one is I'll just have to cut it off, see where we are at, and then we can go from there. Here's what we're dealing with. You can see I just took out here the post and this is all rotten. So right now the joist that I'm sitting on is actually supported by the beam underneath it and by that wall. So I don't have to worry so much that this is going to fall down. But I'll have to at least take it all out so that I can reevaluate what has to be done in this corner. So here's what we're dealing with. You can see this beam is all rotten. The joists are sitting on there. I need to take out the beam further so that I can actually make this joist at least sitting on top of a short portion that goes into the corner here. Then you already saw me cut uh, this piece for over here. I will, reuse, I will use it of course and then bump up the other piece to here. So we will try to cut out more and then just slide in that beam over underneath this joist. And then we'll see, I might have to sit on a little piece on this joist too, so that we can have some extra support because I think some of this area here is also rotten. If you like our videos make sure you give us the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already subscribed thanks so first thing I did I went to Lowe's picked up some more joists I made a decision I'm gonna replace the first two because they don't really have any support over there so I'm gonna replace them and I bought two of them plus I bought three extra joists so that when I get the chance to replace that entire section I'm gonna replace the section over here too. So you can see here now I have to take in, put in the beam, the new one. I will, after I put the beam in, I will then take this first joist out over here and put a new one in, the ones that I purchased. And then afterwards I will fix the wall studs that are right next to it. I will have to do the same thing for this second stud and joist at least because uh, even though on this side it looks pretty decent, on the other side it looks all rotten out. So I will replace it the whole way because uh, dry rot just ex uh, continues, grow, co continues to grow as long as there's moisture. So therefore, I think the best way is to just replace it also.
next step, we need to extend this stud back down onto our beam that we put in, our pressure treated beam. I'm gonna use old 2x4 material that I had from the house because obviously it's much more solid and also it's gonna be the same dimensions. So I'm gonna use that <coughs> to extend them down. I potentially will even put um, a bracket on the outside. I think I'm actually gonna just buy some metal brackets uh, from the store and put them on there. I'll also connect the beams with the metal bracket to each other so everything is really solid at the end. But I don't have that here right now so I'm gonna just extend it. Then I'll take this joist out and we will cut the joist with this template that we have here to length and then we will put the new joist in. time to put a stud right there again this is a double stud so I actually a four by four I don't have any of those so I'm just gonna make my own and then up here I'm gonna just continue down and then we have two more over here so if we can get that whole corner done I'll be very happy So you can see here in the corner we replaced all the studs and then underneath it we put a new beam in. I couldn't only do it be until here because the floor joist was in the way. I couldn't get a longer piece in. So next week I'm going to cut out another section to the right of it and replace that beam underneath this stud too because it's still rotten over here. So I'm going to take that whole section out too still until that door opening and I will also fix the two wall studs that are here in the center of the picture because they also have some rot on the bottom. But then I think this corner will be very solid here for us. And then you can see we also have on the sheathing outside, there is a lot of damage there too, but we will have to do that when we do the siding. The whole side, the whole corner but probably has to come down. That entire rot has to come out from the outside and then we'll replace it all with big pieces and we shouldn't have any issues when we put the new siding on afterwards. It feels like we didn't get a lot of done this week but when I actually th I think about what we accomplished with taking out the entire dining room floors and replaced a joist over here and fixed the entire corner behind me I actually think we accomplished a lot. So I think that's it for this week. I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'll see you guys Next time we'll make a video. Bye.